Okay, I preformed the stone a little bit, and uh, I'll go ahead and start to cut it. This is the uh, the design I'm going to use is called Sultan's Seat by John Bailey. It's kind of a rectangular cushion cut. All the index settings and the angles I'm going to use. So hopefully it'll make a very nice stone. And this uh, gemstone material is called chrysonite and uh, I believe it comes from the, the Australians are making this is from what I understand. Right, I'm cutting with a 100 grit lap, and uh, I had a viewer ask if I would uh, explain how I use the, the diagram, so I'll, I'll talk about that. Here we have the pavilion which I cut first. Step one, the angle here 42.5, which is where I have set my... Okay, we have our setting at 42.58. I know that doesn't look like 42.58, but, but it is. Okay, I've cut the first four facets. Hard to see with the 100 left, but they are done. Okay, I've completed step two, and I have cut these two girdle facets on both sides of the stone. So now I should have a straight line all the way up here. These, there should be a straight line that meets evenly all the way here. It's hard to see because I'm cutting with the rough stuff, the rough lap right now, 100 grit. But uh, if I'm not exact, that's okay. I've got a lot more steps to make on these uh, facets. I have to go down to 260, 600, 1200. I have a lot of more fine cutting to do, so uh, I can bring everything perfectly and as best I can, the, the meats of this facets. Also on, on uh, step number, actually it's not step two, it's girdle one is what I just cut at 90 degrees. And it also says calibrate the width. So what I've done is I've cut all four of these facets, all four of these facets to the same depth. If I wanted, say, a stone uh, 10 by 8 millimeter, I would cut until the stone is 10 millimeter wide. Keep cutting these until and measuring as I go. But since I'm not cutting a calibrated stone, I'm just stopping when I get to where I want and everything's meeting right. So this stone will probably be like 16 to 18 millimeters by probably 10 or so. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go on to number two, step two, 42 degrees, cut at 96 and 48. And see, here's where it tells me calibrate the width. Mm, I have to meet other facets, girdle facet, G1, meet facet one. So these cutting hints help you uh, cut the gem and understand what to do. Okay, I've now moved to steps two and three. 
and these facets are cut at 42 degrees. And I'm also using the 260 lap now. And you can see that the, uh, the facets are more transparent. You can see into the stone. The finer the grit lap, the, uh, the more you, it's more of a polished look on the facets. So I'll continue cutting at 42 degrees and uh, go on down the list of uh, the cutting sequence here. I have just cut uh, step 2, 42, the 96, 48. That's this facet right here. And I've also started step 3, 42. I've started these four facets and got those mostly done. Which are these here. Step 3. So I'll just keep continuing cutting on down. On down the list here. That's all I'm going to uh, talk about on the cutting sequence because uh, it would take hours to uh, make the video if I go through all this, all the cuts and explain. But it's a, an explanation of how I, the first three or four there, how I uh, use the diagram. Okay, I'm working on the girdle facets, and I've already cut most of the other pavilion facets. I'm using the 260 lap. Okay, I've cut up to step six, and I will now switch to the 600 grit lap and start doing the final uh, small facets around the, uh, the girdle. I guess they're like a barium type facet, above or usually below in the pavilion. So that's what I'll do next. I'll bring uh, all the facets closer, get the meats closer with my 600 lap. All right, now I've used the 1200 lap and I have cut all the facets with it. So next I will go to uh, an 8000 pre-polished disc and go over every facet and then prepare for uh, final polishing. Okay, I've uh, finished the pre-polish with the 8000 lap. And this is what we look like now. So next is the uh, cerium oxide lap for the final polish. That should go rather quickly.
Okay, I finished cutting the pavilion. It's completely polished. And uh, it's time to transfer the stone to a V-dot. And I'm going to use epoxy glue. Okay, I've got my gemstone in the transfer jig. And I'm going to, I've got the V-dot over here on this side. And uh, I'm going to put the glue on and then bring the stone and the dot together and uh, the transfer will be complete. Okay, well let the epoxy dry for about 24 hours and uh, we'll finish the stone, we'll cut the crown. Okay, our uh, glue is dried so we can remove the dot stone from the transfer jig and what we'll do is heat this side of the stone this dop and remove the wax so I can cut the crown okay I put some uh, wet paper towels around the stone that will keep it cool And it comes right off that easy. Okay, I've cleaned up the stone, got the wax off, and uh, ready to start fastening the crown. Okay, I've got my 100 grit lap installed. Uh, got my angle set at 31.5. Got my extra splash guard in place to help contain all the spray. So we're ready to start the crown. 31.5 is the first set of four facets. We're going to set the girdle thickness. So let's get this started. All right, I'm working on these facets. step one of the crown and I'm trying to get it to the thickness of the girdle that I'm looking for. I'm just working it down. Here I've got my girdle sized. And I've uh, gone to about the fifth or sixth uh, step and continuing on through the cutting sequence. I've cut all of the facets on the crown except for the table and I've used the 1200 lap and I'm going to go straight from the 1200 lap to the cerium oxide disc for polishing. Once I've completed polishing the uh, crown facets then I will uh, cut the table Okay, I finished polishing the table so the stone is finished. I just have to take it off the dock.
looks like a pretty good one. The color's a lot nicer when it's off of the dock. Yeah, it turned out pretty nice. I've done better jobs of cutting before, but every once in a while you have a stone that's kind of difficult. And I'd never cut this before, and uh, yeah, it, it's a little difficult in, in different areas.